1992, Ukraine organized a competition to attract ideas that would make Chernobyl safe again. The time frame was quite tight. The sarcophagus that had been built around the damaged reactor between May and October 1986 was designed to last 30 years. On 18th June 1993, Campanon Bernard SGE, which became Vinci Construction Grand Projet in 2000, won the competition. Its idea, called Resolution, involved confining the damaged reactor and its sarcophagus before dismantlement. Its bid was the only one that included financing for the project. Over the next two years, Campanon Bernard SGE led the Alliance Consortium, which conducted a series of feasibility studies financed by the European Commission. It became clear that an arch-shaped structure was the best confinement option. And that structure would be bigger and more pioneering than anything the world had ever seen. It would weigh more than the Eiffel Tower and could house the Stade de France or the Statue of Liberty, making it the world's largest mobile metal structure. And this mobile arch was pioneering on two accounts. Its construction method, which prevents exposure to radiation, and its design, which will keep the confinement airtight for a hundred years. In November 1997, at the G7's initiative, the Chernobyl Shelter Fund was established. It received donations from around the world and was managed by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. It has 28 members today. The call for tenders, based on the feasibility studies, began in 2004. It covered the design, construction and commissioning of an arch-shaped structure to confine the existing sarcophagus and the damaged reactor for subsequent dismantlement. Two French construction industry leaders, Vinci Construction Grand Projet, the leader, and Bouygues Travaux Publics teamed up in the Novaka Consortium to take on this challenge. The competition lasted three years and Novaka was finally selected. The contract was signed in Kiev on 17 September 2007. The following month, about 100 engineers started working on the studies in France and Ukraine. They decided to build the enclosure 300 meters from the damaged reactor to reduce exposure to radiation. They also limited overhead work, again to keep radiation exposure to the absolute minimum. The arch was to be assembled on the ground and lifted in phases in the erection area, and the dismantling equipment was to be fitted there before the structure was pushed to its final destination. The Novaka teams moved to the site in 2009 and started cleaning and clearing the erection area in early 2010. In April 2010, they started excavating to lay the concrete beams that would be used to slide the structure into position over the damaged reactor. By February 2012, the first segments had rolled off production lines and been pre-assembled in Italy and were ready to be loaded onto 18 ships, then 2,500 trucks that carried the 36,000 tons of components to Chernobyl. The arch was erected in six phases between November 2012 and October 2014. In April 2014, the team started work on the auxiliary buildings, where crews would remote control the equipment in the arch to dismantle the sarcophagus and damaged reactor once the structure was delivered. In June 2015, work on the electric and ventilation systems began. To prevent corrosion in the arch structure, the air between the outer and inner walls was dried and subjected to mild pressure. This involved processing over a million cubic meters of air, or the equivalent of 370 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In November 2015, the first of the two overhead cranes that would carry the dismantling equipment was lifted and locked into position over 80 meters above the ground. Lastly, on 14th November 2016, the equipped arch was ready to be pushed into its final position. On 29th November, it traveled 327 meters and is now officially in place. 
enveloping the damaged reactor unit. Work in 2017 will involve adding airtight seals between the arch and the sarcophagus and testing the equipment that will be used for dismantlement. Vinci Construction Grand Projet and Bouygues Travaux Public engineers have been pooling their expertise since 2007 and over 10,000 Novaka employees from almost 30 countries have been working on this project side by side with contractors and suppliers from around the world to fulfill their mandate from Ukrainian authorities and the international community. The Novaka teams have used huge imagination and innovation to make Chernobyl safe again because nothing about this construction project was standard. They also worked methodically, relentlessly and generously. They received constant support from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, which enlisted donor countries to support this one-of-a-kind project and managed its unprecedented financing. From the customer, Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant, and from the project manager unit, Bechtel. The arch is now in place and we can all be proud of this shared success.